Hi, how the heck are you? Today we're going to do a thing that we haven't ever done before, which is pour salt correctly on our hard-boiled eggs. Also, we're doing a Q&A. Y'all cued, so I'm about to A, okay? It sounds dirty, but it's not, okay? It's informative. It's transformative in nature. It's... Let's begin. 5.3 thousand comments. Let's try our best to get to all of these. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. I'm just gonna jump right into it, okay? Jillian Davis, when are you getting married? Wednesday. Not this year. Not this Wednesday. A Wednesday. Wednesday. Lucky Britton says, when are you gonna break up with your girlfriend? You could do much better. Man, I thought I had a lot of salt on these hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> Not dark. Never. Perfect. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just hoping she don't find out she can do better than me. A lot of replies on that one. <laughs> the next... <laughs> the next comment is... From Tracy Richmond McHart, Brandon, are you gonna block Lucky Britain? The last comment. All questions are welcome, okay? Some saltier than others. Okay, an intellectual. Keith. <laughs> so sorry. Keith Williams said if a chicken and a half laid an egg and a half in a day and a half, how long would it take for a grasshopper with a wooden leg to kick all of the seeds out of a dill pickle? Hmm. Is he mobile with the wooden leg or is it like immobile? It depends, okay, on your kicking ability. How appropriate. I got a question for you, Keith Williams. What if a half-sized man ate half a hard-boiled egg? Tanya actually said, did you ever think when you were homeless your life would be this awesome? <laughs> no. The eggs are gone, cat. No, don't eat that. No. That's too much salt even for Lucky Britain. You'll die. I regret very few things in my life, okay? But this video isn't one of them. But the amount of salt I put on that egg is one of them. If I could go back a wood. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, it's like a beach. It's like my table is now a salty beach. Kind of like Lucky. <laughs> Got him. Oh my God, can't leave me, okay? Christian Faith Burgess said, if you could be any kind of duck, which one and why? All in caps for some reason. A mighty duck, okay? Justin Roselle said, would you rather fight 100 ducks? Like, what is with y'all eggs and ducks and chickens? Huh? <laughs> Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Give me the tiny horses. <laughs> Miranda Wink. Oh, did you too? Not you, Miranda the cat. Why? Oh! Miranda Wink, will you come to my wedding May 5th, 2020 in Vegas? Yes, I'll be there. Andrea Walker said, who is the beautiful woman in the portrait behind you in your videos? Oh, you mean this woman? Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> my depth perception has much to be desired. Kelly. This is Kelly, my co-host. Someone sent me Kelly in an opening. I opened it. I knew it wasn't for me, because why? First off. Secondly, hmm? we went on a live, okay, to find Kelly. And we did. The real person. And we said, hey, we got your canvas. She said, I got your canvas. And I said, that's weird. And so now, I have her. Ariana Rosselli says, what gives you the motivation to do the things you do? Lucky. <laughs> that's the last time I'm going to mention you, Lucky. Okay, you're lucky. I love you, Lucky. Samantha Little, do you plan to write a book about your life, your struggles and advice to get where you are now? Oh, I don't think so. I'm not a great writer, hence why I do videos. Now we're gonna get a little more serious, okay? We had our fun in the beginning. Now let's get, let's get real, okay? When are you and Gloria gonna make a sweet, sweet Hispanic ginger baby? Okay. <laughs> this was a mistake, Kelly. This video was a mistake. <laughs> but I've opened this can of worms. Now I have to eat them and film it. That's what I did. Chloe Jane, what video are you most proud of making? This one. <laughs> Rebecca Kimmerer. Kimmerer. Sounds like I'm trying to say your last name, but not quite getting it. Kimmerer. What's my favorite word? Farth and heckle. Look it up. It's not a word. And you will be my best friend? Yes. Stephanie Ruth, are you actually going to answer all these questions yourself, or have you hired an expert team to handle it for you? Yes. Love you, Stephanie. Thank you for the question. Alicia Wilson, have you ever thought how weird pizza is? Just now, Janice Isabel, he is rude, unacceptable question. He should be banned from this group. Brandon's girlfriend is adorable and they make wonderful loving couple. I agree. Are you talking about Lucky? <laughs> this video is just gonna be called Lucky said, what? <sighs> What's my favorite coffee creamer? Rosa, coconut cream. How are you adjusting to a life with a cat? We're doing great. We love each other so much. <laughs> Elizabeth Goodley, what's your favorite condiment to use on chicken nuggets? Oh, this is a important question, okay. 
Uh, honey mustard. Brenda Gray, what is my address to send stuff to? I'm glad you asked me a question. P.O. Box 7937, Citrus Heights, California, 95621. What did I miss? What is an award you've won that you're very proud of? I don't think it's an award, Molly. Rink? Rink? -a? Rink? So sorry. I see your name all the time. I should be able to know how to say it. My verified badge on Facebook. It's my most proudest moment. Miriam Ustick. What's the most awkward moment you had eating a cookie? Kiri Marie. When are you going to propose to Maria Gloria? <laughs> on Lucky's birthday. <laughs> oh, you guys. Kate O'Connell. What's your favorite part about being a content creator? This. Being able to content create, create content. What kind of kid were you? Outgoing? Shy? Class clown? Uh, Heather Lynn Holton. I was this without the beer. Rebecca Mean? You're not that mean. Totally random goal that you would love to achieve. Being bilingual. I wish I knew like 12 different languages. The idea of being able to do videos in like Spanish, Cantonese, anything. That would be fun. I wish I could do that. But I know it takes a lot of time. I'm not willing to put the time in. And that's why I don't know other languages. Annie Basson, how can I create amazing content like you? Just be yourself. And if yourself just so happens to be a little ginger boy who draws his eyebrows on and has to defend his girlfriend in front of- Just be yourself. Brian Butler, what is your key to keeping such a positive attitude? Realizing that everything happens for a reason. You don't know why things happen. It could be the best thing that ever happened to you. It just depends on how you want to look at it. Just knowing that something amazing will come out of any situation, no matter how bad. That's just how I look at life. I don't know. And knowing you can't change other people's opinion of you or your girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw this video away. I cannot upload this video. I love my girlfriend very, very much. Fun little fact, interject here. The only reason I'm making videos today is because of my girlfriend. 100%. It's impossible to do better than perfect. I'm just gonna interject a little I love my girlfriends. Jennifer Gonzalez. I tried. Did you ever think that when you were fired from your job at the restaurant that you would ever end up where you are now? Uh, I didn't think I would end up here so quick or necessarily in this spot. Going back to a previous question, I knew something amazing was gonna come from me getting fired. Uh, it was super scary because I was broke, homeless, and dumb. What was the song? <laughs> Young, dumb, and broke? I don't know. I knew I would be entertaining people eventually. It just happened a lot faster than I thought. Mel Castro, how do you feel about how far you've come, especially in the past year? Blows my mind. I still don't believe it sometimes. Cause I was doing this since I was 12, making videos and whatnot. I did YouTube for a long time since 2013. Uh, uh, most people hated my videos, okay? But that's just me getting the crap out and I eventually got better at it. Okay, and now I'm back to being bad, I guess, doing these contests. What's your most favorite and most amazing feeling brand of clothes? Holly Marie Coleman, cat fur. Authentic cat fur. Look at my new scarf. Pamela Mary, I have a great question. How in tarnations does one man answer all these questions? I'm not gonna get to all the questions. I know I won't, but this will be a long video, probably. Candace Marie, so many people, you will never see me. It's always the people who say you'll never see me is the people I see, Dr. Seuss, 2019. But you have an amazing voice, ever thought about pursuing singing along with everything else? It's actually low key a dream I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to be a singer. I always wanted to be a singer. Um, I'm not that great. So do what you're good at. It's another thing I live by. Josephine Cottle, when you lived in your car, what turned your life around? Uh, I think um, setting clear goals about what I wanted and then doing stuff to get them and obviously making videos. Sunny Bunny, have you ever thought about doing anything on the big screen, like movies? I used to, but I don't, probably not anymore. Um, eventually I would like to go on tour and do a comedy show, like an actual stand-up tour where there's improv and stand-up comedy and funny stuff, and then my hand motions will be there, Kelly will be there. Katie Lee Wahlberg, do I miss working in a restaurant? Mm-mm, no. I miss the people. I don't miss working in a restaurant. Gross. Don't hit Kelly, you two get along. Casey Lamport, how much do you regret posting this because you have so many freaking comments? Mm-hmm. You took the words. <laughs> No, I don't regret it. I love it. I honestly th saw this going a different way than where it's going, so we may do a different Q&A, okay? I feel like this is my fault. Ashley Jones, can you give me a shout out one day on your live? Sure. I'm gonna forget. Why are you my spirit animal? Uh-huh. Alicia Morgan, what is your favorite kind of video to make? Um, these, where I'm just talking to y'all. Specifically y'all. I looked into the camera, but that's the last time I'll do it, okay? Look at me the rest of the time. Just the ones where I'm talking into the camera. Ow. Um, nothing happened. <laughs> Sporadic random videos where I talk into the camera. I like the try and two videos, but that's like 
not as engaging as this is because I'm talking to you, whereas you're just sitting on my back. What? Mallory Chandler, did you know that your favorite thing has been recalled? Pepperidge Farm Goldfish Crackers recall alert. Uh-oh, I have a lot. Ah! Maybe that's why there's cat claws in my back. You don't know you hurt me, do you? You do. Amir Pather, 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 what's your darkest, most inner thoughts? That's a great question. They're bad. They're not that bad. They're like, my camera stopped recording, okay? What are my deepest, darkest, most inner thoughts? Y'all ever get those thoughts where you're like, ow, not like that, but ow. You ever have those thoughts where you're like, I wonder what would happen or how people would react if I just did this right now? And it's just ridiculous. Just things like that. Uh, I can't give specifics because it's weird. Carrie Whitebrock, what color? <laughs> what, is your <laughs> what is your favorite Mexican food? Albondigas. It's like little lamb meatballs, I think what I've been told. Zoe Martin Anderson, not a question. Shout out my son, please. He's called Kobe Martin Anderson. Shout out to Kobe Martin Anderson. Wants to be a YouTuber. Do it. Just do it. Be you. Love it. What is that? Is that a fly? Or a weed whacker? Oh my lord, that thing's got to be huge. Did you kill it? No worries. It was a fly about this big, but the cat ate it. I'm afraid of her. Ashley Geeky? I like your last name. How have you, your friends and family influenced your creativity and help you become more of a comedian daily? My family is nothing but supportive always ever. Even when I lived in my car, they're very supportive about it. Obviously they wanted me to be with them, but they respected my journey. Uh, my whole family is hilarious. So when I was young, I just stole their jokes because they were funnier than me. They've helped me a lot, quite a bit, financially, everything. I, honestly, they've helped me get to this point. They've helped me, what did I just smack? <laughs> <laughs> They've helped me get to this point. Would I be willing to say hello to you and your son Noah? Tabitha Davis Terry and Noah. Hi, how are you? Brain. Demi Richardson, I love your energy and your happiness. Thank you so much. When you are having a rough day, how do you deal with it? <sighs> it takes a lot of mental work. I do a lot of like walking, but if I'm just super down, I can realize when I just need to take time for me and either meditate or just watch YouTube videos and enjoy myself, but eventually deal with what's making me unhappy. But sometimes you just have blah days. I have blah days all the time. Every once in a while, I'll just have like a spurt of three days where it's just blah, where I don't feel like filming. My energy's really low. I feel like I'm doing horrible with my life, but that's everyone, right? Everyone goes to Kelly, John McConnell. I suffer from severe anxiety and depression and your videos give me laughter and happiness. And for someone who wants to start making YouTube videos about their life, and bring the same happiness to people that feel like I do, what would you suggest? John, you wanna make YouTube videos? I would say the best way to do it and the easiest way to do it, I'll try to summarize it all pretty quick here because I know this video is gonna be long, but I don't care. Talk about your life. Everybody who is just starting out and just starting to make videos and this is gonna be the first video you put out online, it's not mean, but this is the mentality that I had when I started. You have to get to the realization that nobody's going to watch you for two years. Just get that in your head. Like nobody's going to watch you. Kind of bank on that because it gives you time to practice, get good, get the crap out. Um, I have a lot of videos that I'm very embarrassed about, but it was just me getting the crap out. You only get better by doing. So as long as you have like an ultimate vision of what you want to do, I would say talk about your life. If you're suffering from anxiety and depression, turn on the camera and say, this is what I'm going through. This is how I feel. What do y'all feel? comment section below. The more you film yourself, the more you talk to a camera, the comfortable you get. Um, like me, who's done it for so long, I can now say full sentences without messing up one word. <laughs> I think everybody should do it. I think eventually everyone will do it. I'd say get in it now. A lot of people suffer from anxiety. And if you know how to get over it, and you have like really good ways to combat your anxiety, millions of people would love to hear that. Hello? Ow. Oh! Good question. Do you live in Sacramento? I do. Tanya Brooks. I love your videos, but I can never seem to catch them live. How do I fix that? I am very, 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 very on a schedule. Every day at 6 a.m., Sunday through Friday, I post a video. Every Saturday morning at 8 a.m., this is on California time, East Coast, West Coast time, Central Mountain, Area 51 time. I go live at 8 in the morning, every Saturday morning, without fail, Everything else is random somewhat, but throughout the week, I will not go live in the morning because it would 
compete with the video I uploaded. So it would be in the afternoons, if anything. I go live quite a bit in the mornings on Instagram because that wouldn't compete with my video. So if you want to follow me on Instagram at um, Brandon Ferris, you can do that and I'll go live over there. And then I go live on Patreon as well. It's a lot smaller so I can read more of the comments, but I go live over there typically later in the day. Joseph Johnson, if half a chicken lays half an egg, here we go again, all the egg things, Kelly. How many pancakes does it take to cover a small doghouse? It depends. How big is the doghouse? How big are the pancakes? Are they crepes? Are they just little flapjacks, okay? I'd roughly say probably 30 something, if I had to guess. Dana Bowman Glick, what kind of music do you listen to? Metal, hard. <laughs> not like 80s, 90s heavy metal, not like Metallica, heavy, like a, a wood chipper. Like if you put a mic to a wood chipper, that's what the vocalist sounds like. It's like a small dog eating a big steak, okay? That's what that's what the music I listen to sounds like. Brittany in Justice, will you do a shout out for my son Declan? Declan, love you. Thank you for watching the videos. I'm glad you enjoy them. I appreciate you. Especially the video where you ate a lightly salted spider. <laughs> Who knew this video would be so egg heavy and salted? I sure didn't, or did I? That's something to think about. Stacy Levisque, how do you find your creativity and humor? What makes you happy? Great questions. Um, how do you find your creativity and humor? That comes from practice. I don't remember because I was a child, but my dad says when I was younger, I would memorize movie quotes, and then while grown-ups were talking, I'd interject that movie quote joke at like a perfect time. And he said, you've always had comedic timing, but you've had to work on your jokes. He was basically saying I, was, I wasn't funny, okay? I hear him. I've always been funny, but on camera, I haven't always been funny. Um, watch my older videos, they're very bad. <laughs> like my older YouTube videos, I think I deleted them. Um, they used to be horrible because you become a different person on camera, but the more you do it, you start to become yourself. So this is me. If you meet me in person, this is what you're gonna meet. But that's what it takes. Uh, you find your creativity and humor through practice. And what makes me happy? Uh, my family makes me happy. Making a video makes me happy. Making other people laugh makes me happy. I love what I do. I love that I get to make, these don't even look like my hands. <laughs> no. I love that I get to make comedy videos for a living. Alexis Rose, what's your favorite kind of brew of coffee? Hmm, I go through stages when it comes to coffee. I used to like pure black medium roast coffee and then I got into instant coffee, dark roast for like the longest time. And now I only drink decaf espresso. Oxymoron, I know. I can't do a lot of caffeine, okay? It's a V8. There's still caffeine in it though. Can't argue with him. Also, could you give a shout out to Joni and Carrie? Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Kelly Garciduena. Gar My most embarrassing moment in high school, I was crawling around underneath the tables just trying to be funny, but I wore breakaway pants. Uh, someone ripped them off. David Gandy, how do you survive when you live in your car? Uh, that took a long time to figure out. Finding a place to park, finding a place to sleep. Two most important things you gotta figure out first. The food part is easy. Peanut butter and bread, good to go. That's all I ate for like a year and a half. Honey, peanut butter, and bread. <laughs> That's why I'm so yoked. <laughs> Puts his arms down. Depending on where you live, I lived in LA, which is um, the sun capital of the world. <laughs> You have to find a place to park your car during the day and a place to sleep. When you're homeless, it's kind of good because you can live wherever you want. I just so happened to park my car in like covered parking. So all day I'd keep my car in covered parking uh, for like a mall structure or whatnot. Keep your car cool, but you have to find a, a safe place to park. Side of the road is probably not the best. I parked in the same exact parking spot at a extended stay hotel in Burbank, California for a year and a half. Cops drive by every single night they never found out. Well, they maybe knew. I don't know. But it was safe. Lights were on all the time. Uh, surveillance cameras. You don't run into too much stuff other than homeless people wanting to pee on your tires. Why? I was homeless. I was the one peeing on my tires. <laughs> that was before me and Kelly met, though. Storm Alexandria Glassheart. What kept you going when you're at your lowest point? Lowest point was definitely living in my car. $500 in the negative in my bank account. And then $15,000 of debt. I think progress. Progress makes happiness for me. If I'm progressing, then I'm happy. So knowing I have a bunch of crippling debt, knowing that I'm in the negatives in my bank balance, knowing that bills are coming and I live in my car, I don't know, if you focus yourself on something, it, it might not be for everyone, but it seems to always work out for me. I studied for hours and hours and hours and hours to get a promotion at work so I could learn different stations. Um, I was a cook, became a travel trainer, which was another pay raise, and I did all this so I could pay off my bills. But you just gotta realize you're not your circumstances. Things could change in a day, instantly. Things can change. My memory card is full. I had to delete some stuff. But now I'm gonna go pee, 
intermission, I'll put in a little clip of something here. I don't know, it might be something. And I'm done peeing. Now I'm gonna go to YouTube, check out some of these questions. All right, YouTube, what kind of questions you got? Why are you so amazing? Ava? <sighs> Peppermint's Chamber of peculiaris, Peculiarness. When did you and Gloria meet? Six years ago. Uh, in Alaska, at a cafe. Would you rather go fishing or go shopping? Um, I'd rather go shopping for fishing supplies or fishing for shopping supplies. <laughs> Neither. If I had to pick, right now I'd probably say fishing. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, sounds fun. That last one was by Trinity Edney, by the way. Casey Love Ya said, if you could see any famous person, who would it be? Gary V. Sticking with the rhyming theme here. Braves07, ask you anything, huh? Yeah. In Gloria's 7-Eleven parody, you had black hair. Was that fake or real? It was real fake. Uh, she dyed my hair black, so it was real. Roberta Locke, do you think you're funny? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> B. Harrison, how did you come up with Jesus? My grandma used to switch the first letters of things. I think it's called a spoonerism, when you switch the first letters of words. I used to do that a lot growing up, so I guess I just did Dear Jesus as Jesus. I haven't said Dear Jesus in a long time. <laughs> it's using the Lord's name in vain. Of course I wouldn't. Kaylee Hasselbar, do I want to be on the Ellen DeGeneres show? Nah. Not really. Kayla Hoots. If you could choose one of these to never eat again, what would it be? Insects or spicy food? Um, the spicy food. If I could go back, I wouldn't have done the gummy bear or the choco challenge or the death nuts. Brie Fam. Do you have any phobias? I do. Tiny little holes in skin. Trypophobia? I still don't know how to say it. From Adam Dalby. Okay, two part question. Are you ever going to come to Canada? Maybe. Two, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I'd come to Canada. Jillian Crawford, who is Kelly to you? Kelly is my co-host. Kelly was sent to me in an opening by accident because someone meant to send a canvas they made of me, but the company switched them. So they sent her my canvas, which was like me making a weird face, which was probably odd for her. And they sent me, as I grab her confidently, Kelly, which was also weird for me. But we ended up finding the real Kelly, went on a live together. I think it's on Facebook. Hashtag find Kelly. We found the real Kelly, went on a live with her. We met her husband, super cool. She's alive, by the way. Why do y'all think she's dead? This isn't a funeral photo. <laughs> Fry Mama, I've asked many times, but I think we all want and need to know, do I do my eyebrows? They do themselves. Of course I do my eyebrows. <laughs> can you make more cooking videos? Sharon Kaufman, I sure can. Kaylee Hasselbar. Oh, you snuck in a second question, didn't you? Can you say, hello, I'm Brandon Ferris and I love all my duders. I'll say it in my deep voice. Hello, I'm Brandon. <laughs> Joanne Billings, why did you stop doing your guitar videos and stop playing? Because I couldn't find a way to make them funny. Once I find a way to incorporate my music more, I will. But for now, I don't know. I enjoy doing the comedy thing more. That's why, mainly. Avery Varner says, how come your fingers have fingertips, but your toes don't have toe tips, yet you can tip toe, but you can't tip finger? Who told you you couldn't tip finger, Avery? <laughs> What's my middle name? Caitlin Tackett? That's not my middle name. That's who wrote the comment. Chase. Courtney M, where did I leave my glasses? I can't find them. Did you check under the couch cushions? Courtney, you know how you are. You take naps with your glasses on face first into the couch. They slip into the couch cushion. You know this, we've been through this. It might be in the freezer. Whitney Garland, if you could marry any YouTuber beside your girlfriend, who would it be and why? Maria Gloria does. It's her second YouTube channel. It counts. Mac and Cheese Master, you have a choice. You can visit the ocean or the universe. Which would you choose and if there's a reason why? Universe over ocean always. My tattoo doesn't say dare we disturb the ocean. I should get a tattoo that says tan line starts here. <laughs> Norma Soriano Altamirano. Sound it out, Brandon. Do you think water is wet? No. Nazareth 43018. What was your job before YouTube? I was a travel training chef. A company I worked for that I won't mention. I would train new employees how to cook the food and get them ready for opening. That was basically my job. Casey Pate Pate? Mm. <laughs> How old are you? 28. Duh, 868. Who's Kelly? Kelly McCall. Kathy Hanold. If you could turn back time, what would you change or do? Uh, I would have not asked this question. <laughs> We're in it now. We're doing it. Haley Bastarche? Bastarich. Bastarache. Bastarache. Haley. Is your girlfriend's daughter yours as well? By the way, I love your videos and I got my friends into them too. Haley? Oh. Thank you so much, Haley. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the videos. I appreciate you sharing them. I really do. Um, is my girlfriend's daughter mine? Biologically, no, but I do claim her as mine. She has a father who is uh, in her life, 100%. She sees him all the time. They hang out. That's her dad. 
I'm her beebs, but I claim her as my five-year-old. She's mine. I'll take her. Layla Marciano, have you ever gotten sick from any of the strange snacks you've tried? A lot. <laughs> the gummy bear. The choco challenge. Any spicy food I've done, I've gotten sick. Virgo777, did you ever think you'd be as popular as you are on YouTube? Kind of. Not this fast. Not like this. Not like this. How many dirty duders duded the duder? Thunderstorm 173665388, like seven. Have you ever listened to a band called Skillet or Red? Sharon Bauman? Of course, I love Skillet. I used to listen to Red as well, but I was more into Skillet. What's the weirdest thing you've ever gotten in an opening video? Um, it's not weird, but why? Six phone books, just in a box. Deborah Valadez, Val, Valid, thank you. Jordan, M-I-E, how old do you think most of your viewers are? Uh, 25 to 35, and seven. <laughs> LCMC, being a smaller man, were you bullied in high school? How did you cope? People tried to pick on me, but I just made fun of them until they stopped, which was also bullying, I suppose. <laughs> they started at. I just didn't care what people said. Kinsey K, what's your favorite color? Purple, my, my, my battery's dying. <laughs> my battery's dying. I guess that's the end of the video. This is probably gonna be a 40 minute video. I'm so sorry. If you've made it to this point, congrats. I applaud you. Even I haven't made it to this far in the video, okay? I love y'all. Thank you for the questions, most of you. <laughs> How do you end this video? I got a question for y'all. If half a chicken